Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome to our skill capped easiest to play 2v2 composition tier list. With Shadowlands just around the corner, you may be considering what composition you're gonna be looking to play to push rating in 2v2 the first week, or even trying to figure out what compositions you and your friend can play for the best chance at success. Our goal with this tier list is to do two things. First is that we're gonna make sure every spec has their best composition included to give you some more idea on what comp you should aim to play. Second, we're gonna be ranking the compositions into three difficulty tiers, easy, medium, and hard. So by the end of this list, you should know what composition is the best to play as well as how difficult you can expect it to be. Just one disclaimer. We've deliberately left out any double DPS compositions. The reasoning behind this is that while at lower ratings double DPS can have success, it generally becomes more difficult and less viable the higher you climb. Before we get started, we here at Skillcapped release premium content every single week. That includes news, tier lists, arena walkthroughs, and a whole lot more to not only keep you up to date on the meta as it evolves, but also to give you that edge when it comes to all aspects of World of Warcraft PvP. So if you want to support the channel and be notified the second we release any new content, a subscription to the channel as well as a like on this video costs nothing and would help us out a ton. And if we can get this video to 3000 likes, we will be releasing an easiest to play 3v3 tier list for Shadowlands. Alright, enough of the boring intros, let's jump into the video. First up, we're going to be taking a look at the 2v2 compositions that we've put into our easy tier. We've identified these compositions as easy because they generally require a lot less setup, coordination, or tactics in order to perform well. Our first composition is Windwalker Holy Paladin. This is the strongest composition for both Holy Paladin and Windwalker. The reasoning behind this composition being so strong is that Windwalker brings a ton of defensive cooldowns, and so does Paladin. With Bubble, Bop, Karma, Sack, and both their walls, it becomes incredibly hard to kill either target. Windwalker's major weakness is that they lack a consistent stun with Leg Sweep being on a relatively long cooldown, but Holy Paladin covers that weakness with a reliable stun from Hammer of Justice. We've put Windwalker Holy Paladin into easy for the sole reason that all you're looking to do is maximize your damage onto a target and outlast your opponents by rotating your defensive cooldowns. You're not required to crowd control or do any advanced setups. As long as you stay alive, rotate cooldowns, and pump out the damage, there's a high chance you can win most matchups. The second composition in our tier list is Arms Warriors with Restoration Druid or Restoration Shaman. This is also the strongest composition for Shaman and Druid. Both variants adopt the same sort of Playstyle. You're looking to maximize damage and outlast your opponents with high consistent pressure. What the arms warrior looks for in a healer is somebody who can be self-sufficient. If you have a healer who can keep yourselves alive, then you're gonna outpressure most other compositions with tools like Sharpen Blade, while still having Rally and Cry, Intervene, and even Overwatch for those sticky situations. While Restoration Druid offers a little more in terms of crowd control and added damage, the Shaman offers some more utility with grounding, an extra interrupt, and also a purge. Despite these differences, they are easy to play, which makes both variants fall into our easy tier. Warrior's weaker spec Fury on the other hand requires a little more help from their healer, and as a result Fury's best composition and again slotting into our easy tier is Fury Warrior Holy Paladin. Fury's biggest downfall is its lack of a mortal strike effect providing any healing reduction. While Arms Warrior survives by having defensive stance, Fury survives by having increased healing from bloodthirst and enraged regeneration. Thanks to the dampening mechanic in 2v2, damage reductions are a lot stronger than self-healing. As a result, Fury needs to win games fast. So what you're looking for is an aggressive healer. Pair up with a Holy Paladin with Avenging Crusader. You have the potential to rush down enemy healers and rotate the strong defensives that Paladin brings to stay aggressive. Next up on our list are Mist Weavers paired up with either Arms Warrior or an Unholy Death Knight. This means that Mist Weavers look for a melee partner who can maximize pressure solo and don't need all that much assistance. If you keep them alive, they will be able to create solo pressure. Arms and Unholy are two of the best specs at doing this. Keep them dispelled and on their target, assist with Leg Sweep bring an in cap where possible to win most matchups. Coming in next, we've got the Giants of Battle for Azeroth 2v2, Destruction Warlocks. Destruction is one of the most durable casters thanks to their mastery, so what they're looking for in a healer is somebody that can bring a lot in terms of offense and also some stuns to secure Chaos Bolt casts. As a result, Druid is the best option. This composition allows for the Restoration Druid to consistently look to go for restouts, secure raids, maims, and consistently look for drinks as in most cases Destruction poses too much of a threat if left to free cast. The general tankiness and the durability of this composition makes it very easy to play when compared to other casters in 2v2. You don't 
need to crowd control and you don't need to kite. Just maximize damage, survive, and you're good to go. Although this composition is a little more challenging than playing with other melees for the restoration druid, as far as casters go in 2v2, this one's not too challenging. Speaking of our previous giants of 2v2, our next addition is gonna be Demon Hunters. Our recommended healer and best composition is gonna be either Restoration Druid or Restoration Shaman. Restoration Druid offers a little more in terms of damage output and stunts with Feral Affinity, and great self-sufficiency with Guardian, giving you the best of both worlds depending on the matchup. Restoration Shaman is a little more utility based, with the added ability to purge and interrupt but offers a lot more defensively. Both compositions have the same general playstyle of maximizing damage and mana rifts to eventually score a kill or win, both again being easy to pick up and play. Showing a little love now to our lesser represented specs, we've got Enhancement Shaman. Enhancement Shaman struggles with two things, a reliable stun and survivability, resulting in their best partner being a Holy Paladin. You've got the reliable stun from Hammer of Justice, strong defensives with Sacrifice and Bob, and Holy Paladins are the best healers to assist with damage during your heroism or bloodlust windows utilizing Avenging Crusader. While they're not the strongest composition, you can still look to burst down targets while they're stunned. Sticking with the lesser represented specs, we've got Frost Death Knights paired with Holy Paladin, again practically with the same reasoning for enhancement. You need a healer that can bring a stun and assist you with damage during your burst windows. The best option for this is gonna be a Holy Paladin. Of course, you can still have relative success combining your Pillar of Frost with potential Avenging Crusader and looking to pump out some damage inside of a Hammer of Justice, sadly lacking that consistent pressure and necrotic strike threat that Unholy Death Knight brings. Alright, that's gonna round off our easy tier. Let's quickly take another look before we move on. We've put a star next to the classes in which we believe the composition to be their strongest. And if you're enjoying the video so far, a subscription to the channel would be incredible. Moving on to our medium tier, these compositions require a little more work in order to play at a higher level. This could be for a few different reasons. You need to secure or chain crowd control, play around burst windows, or just generally require more coordination between you and your healer to make the composition work the higher you go. First up, we have Unholy Death Knight with Restoration Shaman. This composition requires a lot more effort and coordination to create pressure. It's all about getting initial pressure during your burst windows and then chaining interrupts with your shaman in order to secure kill, then kiting and avoiding damage during downtime. Going toe to toe with most melee will often cause you to get out pressured, but played correctly, this composition can be one of the most potent at killing healers. While Restoration Shaman has some stronger compositions, this will be the strongest for Unholy Death Knights, simply due to the added utility and how durable you both are. Now we're getting into more of the setup based compositions, first of which is Balanced Druid. What they look for in a partner is somebody that can bring added crowd control. As you have Cyclone, you need something on the Polymorph diminishing return, and Paladins bring exactly that with Repentance on top of their Hammer of Justice. Combine Mass Entanglement Solar Beam with Cyclone's Repentance and Hammer of Justice to secure kills, and during downtime, control the pace of the game with low Cyclones and build up Astral Power ready for your next setup. Shadow Priest Restoration Druid is the next composition falling into our moderate tier. This works because of the inherent tankiness of a Shadow Priest, which then allows the Druid to play more aggressively going for restells and adding damage and stunts with Rake or Maim, as you really need the extra assistance in order to secure kills. The new rework to Shadow Priest makes them a lot stronger than they were previously. They've been having a lot more upfront damage with the return of Devouring Plague. This composition does require a decent level of skill to have success, as you're gonna have to set up your damage a lot more. While we believe Restoration Druid to be the best variant of a healer, a Holy Paladin or even a Restoration Shaman can also work. Our next composition is Retribution Paladin Discipline Priest. Retribution Paladins have a ton of bursts during small windows, specifically with Execution Sentence and Avenging Wrath. What you would look for in a partner is somebody who can assist you during these small windows, and the best partner for this is a Disciplined Priest. This composition looks to go for stuns on a target while the Priest fears the other, then utilizing Dark Archangel to make for some extremely potent setups. While it's not hard, this composition does require a certain amount of coordination with your healer to make it work. Our first rogue composition stepping onto this list is gonna be Assassination Rogue Discipline Priest. This extremely strong composition pumps out some of the highest damage in the game, as well as having decent control. The difficulty of this composition is based around tactics, knowing where to multi-dot or crowd control in order to win. A basic setup is a kidney shot on one target with a psychic scream on the other, having your priest assist with damage during the kidney shot with Dark Angel, Mind Blast, mind games and a potential schism. Following almost the same playstyle, we have another Disciplined Priest composition, this time paired up with a Pharaoh Druid. This composition once again looks to combine damage inside of a stun with Dark Archangel. Pharaoh brings some much welcome utility in order to gloss over some of the 
the disciplined priest's weakness with added off healing and appeals from cyclone or roots. The extra damage from your priest is why this composition is a pharaoh's strongest. Although pharaohs can work with either a holy paladin or even a restoration druid, restoration druid pharaoh is very good in a meta where melee reigns supreme. Double thorns and high mobility from both druids make it very annoying to face. The difficulty of these compositions comes with knowing when to kite, when to avoid damage, when to cyclone, and again coordinating with your healer inside of stuns. Affliction Restoration Druid is our next composition, and the strongest for Affliction Warlocks. This composition revolves for the most part around rotting your enemies, getting strong pressure, and just overwhelming with damage. Druid is the best healer for this due to the added stuns and extra damage. The added difficulty with Affliction compared to Destruction, which we place in our easy tier, is that Affliction is a lot easier to kill, so you're gonna have to do a good job at avoiding damage as well as kiting. Hunters are up next, with their best 2v2 composition being paired up with either a Disciplined Priest or a Restoration Druid. We say Hunter because both Beast Mastery, Marksman, and Survival all pair well with these two healers. What you're looking for is added crowd control. Druids can Cyclone off your traps. Priests can Fear or Mind Control and then either the added stuns from a Druid or extra damage from a Priest really rounds off the comp nicely. The difficulty in this one is of course securing your crowd control and coordinating with your healer. Our final addition in our medium tier are Elemental Shamans with their healer of choice being Holy Paladin or Restoration Druid. Holy Paladin brings some added crowd control with the ability to stun repeatedly a healer while you lasso a DPS, along with stronger defensives like Freedom allowing you to kite more as well as Sack and Bop. Druids are a little more offensive, getting in the opponent's face with Cyclones, Stunts, and the damage from Cat Form. Both compositions require some level of coordination to play. Elemental Shamans can't just zerg down a target. Most games are going to be very long, requiring good defensive play or one inside of well-coordinated setups. If we had to choose one, we'd recommend a Restoration Druid, simply due to the power of Druids right now in Shadowlands. Alright, that's going to be our medium and easy tiers wrapped up. Before we get into the last few compositions in our hard tier, let's quickly take another look at the list so far. Heading into our hard tier, these compositions are going to be a lot more challenging. They all require large amounts of setup as well as coordination in order to win. These aren't great for new players to pick up and play, especially at the higher ratings. We've had destruction and affliction, leaving us with demonology left in the warlock specs. Demonology is one of the hardest specs to play correctly when it comes to PvP. Not only is the consistent damage rather low and that demonology is just weak in general, but it also requires a lot of preemptive thought and setup to deal any relevant damage with your tyrant. If you don't know what you're doing, then you're gonna have a very bad time as demonology in 2v2. The best healers to pair up with are Restoration Druid for the added damage and stuns, or Holy Paladin for the strong defensive cooldowns, interrupt reduction, and blessing of protection to help you get those huge tyrants out. The next composition we've got going into our hard tier is Mage, paired up with either a Priest or a Druid. Yes, we know we've had a few people disagree with how we view mages and their difficulty, but inside of 2v2, a bracket is predominantly played by high consistent damage dealers. Playing a setup caster requires much more work. You've got to be on point with crowd control and be dealing relevant damage at the same time. You can't just sit there dealing damage and expect to come close to winning. You need clean setups and to consistently combine with your healer in order to extend those crowd control chains. Arcane, Frost, and Fire all look for the same in a healer, either stuns or added crowd control and damage. Druid adds a bit more in terms of stuns and crowd control, while Priest is all about strong setups with Dark Archangel and added damage with Psychic Scream. The only exception to this is Fire Mages, who prefer a Holy Paladin for the on-demand stuns and setup damage. Finally, for the last compositions of this list, we've got Sub Rogue or Outlaw Rogue, paired up with a Holy Priest or Disciplined Priest. Sub Rogue Disciplined Priest is by far the strongest combination, but if you want to play Holy Priest, then a Sub Rogue is your best partner, while the Disciplined Priest is the best one for the Outlaw. Any spec of Rogue is always best when paired up with a Priest, like Peanut Butter and Jelly. Rogues look to kill during stuns, and the Priest brings not only Dark Archangel for the stun, but all that added damage from Mind Blast, Mind Games, Penance, and even Schism. The difficulty of this composition comes with the intricacies of both Sub and Outlaw. These are not specs you can just brute force kills on, it's all about setting up and bursting at the right times. Holy Priest just is a far weaker version than Discipline when it comes to 2v2, now that greater heal comes with a cooldown. While you have some extra defensives, you lack in damage output. Alright guys, that's gonna be our easiest to play 2v2 composition tier list. We've made sure to include what we believe to be the best composition for every spec going into Shadowlands. On the screen, we'll leave a quick recap of all the 2v2 compositions included in this video. 
And guys, we here at Skillcaft put a ton of work into guides just like this one to make sure we provide you with the most up-to-date and accurate information you can't find anywhere leading up to the Shadowlands release. If you'd like to support the channel, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell to be notified the moment we release more premium guides. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.